corrupt but has so many issues, it's kind of like um, one of those factors that the DOJ said, we can't give money to Baltimore until they fix that. So so the, the federal government that is run by Donald Trump would consider that Baltimore is corrupt and not deserving of funds. I just wanted to say that out loud and, and see how that rolled off the tongue. Um, I think that Baltimore definitely has issues, but I don't think that the city of Baltimore is more corrupt than the federal government. Oh, yeah, of, of course. Yeah. I think right now with um, – there's a lot of stuff going on, but I'm thinking that could be something where someone could say, look, the Baltimore City Police Department has so many issues internally that they got to get their stuff together first before we try to help them. They got to help themselves. Yeah, but I know there's a bunch of issues going on, yeah. on in there. Yeah, but see, and that that may be the case, and I think that that's true to a degree. But I mean, where do you start? I mean, it, it's just that, um, you know, if if you look at each city by the level of violence that they have, then. I, like I said, Chicago and Baltimore definitely need to be on that list. Uh, Baton Rouge, oh, I, I think, should be on there too. But um, we got, we got a lot going on here. I mean, just you know, federal funds is not really really going to um, tackle the problem completely. But at least it shows that people give a damn uh, somewhere other than here. But it just seems like we're kind of on our own. No, I agree, and I think that it's something to consider too that. But I say per per capita, Baltimore is probably the highest. But then again, we're not necessarily the largest city either. So there, I figure they could do really good if they actually came here and helped out. And there's like um, a, they could say per cap. We've helped so many people per capita by fixing Baltimore. It's kind of like a double-edged sword. It's kind of one of those things where they I could see them staying away from it. But I think if they actually made it a point to say, no, let's take this as a challenge and try to fix it, they'd look good, and they could probably take that model to other places. You can't take a small-town model, possibly like Toledo, Ohio, and bring it to Baltimore or a bigger city. Yeah, and I, and I think that every, every city has their own set of challenges. Uh, I think that um, that has something to do with it. It depends on you know, what the makeup of the city is and, 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 and all that kind of stuff. But at the end of the day, the violence comes from lack of opportunities uh, and uh, just a, a bad way of handling conflicts a lot of times. Oh, I agree. There's a lot of, I mean, give, give people an opportunity, a, a good opportunity, not an opportunity to be poor, you know, if right. you pay someone right. enough to, to to just be really poor and still owe money, that's not an opportunity. Right, I agree. I agree with that. Uh, I definitely, I definitely agree with that. What uh, other other than that? What's been what's been going on with you? When when can people check you out? Well, you know I'm on every Saturday on the Audio Infusion and Diamond K. We need to have you back. I oh, remember yeah. we tried to get you on and. But the riots. Well, screwed everything up <laughs> yeah yeah to, to, ironically um what on on to uh well i was supposed to come in there and do a set right is that is that what it was an interview or something and yeah I think, um, yeah i wanted you i still want you to come in and do a set because you're okay. one of the um people that um have been doing music in baltimore at a good at a, at a high level for a long period of time so we got to get you to come up through and do that Absolutely, but, um, absolutely. Just let me know, definitely. So I got a, um, I have a new project that is dropping on August tenth. So um, I'll be making the rounds promoting that and new, like I said, new music dropping with there. So yeah, definitely. But I definitely come through, interview, mix, whatever, whatever you need yeah, me to do. You've always been been doing your thing independently. You're not necessarily trying to hang out with all the trendy people you've been always steadily doing your thing consistently right. it's a good thing though it's a good look for all, all those other people out there that wonder can you make it as an independent they should look no further than you yeah i, th I think independent is definitely the way to go um the internet i think solved the distribution issue because a lot of people have issues with distribution how do i get my music out to 
fans, and the internet is right. that missing piece there. So, yeah, it's like making the the um record labels implode on themselves, which is something right. of a good thing. I, it is a good thing because for so long the labels have been screwing people over, and now they're obsolete. Yeah. 